What is up, everybody? Welcome back once again to Hot Toys Hotline. As always, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm very proud and very happy to say we finally hit our 250 subscriber goal. So thank you so much. I couldn't have done it without you guys being awesome supporters of the channel. On to 500. Our new goal is 500 subscribers. So of course, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. As you guys know, we will now be giving away that Arkham Series Harley Quinn Hot Toy on the channel because we hit our 250 subscriber goal. So keep an eye out on the channel. Lane and I will be making a video on how to enter. Thank you so much once again, guys. But today, I do have a very special one for you. Today, I have an unboxing and review of the Hot Toys D23 exclusive Avengers Campus Spider-Man. Let's jump down to the light box. All right, everybody. Now, here we are in the light box with the Spider-Man Avengers Campus D23 exclusive by Hot Toys. Of course, as always, in the beginning of my reviews, I like to show you guys what the packaging looks like before anything is removed. You did get a preview in the first shot of the video what this packaging looks like, but here's a shot of the bottom, which you didn't see. Of course, it also has the Spider-Man comic book masterpiece series number 10 inscribed on the bottom. We did just review the comic book masterpiece series Arena Boba Fett, so if you haven't watched that video yet, please check it out. But let's take this sleeve off and see what it looks like underneath before everything is taken out of the box. And you can see here, guys, quite a bit of stuff in this box here. But let's not spend too much time here. Let's take the figure and all the accessories out of the box and we will take a closer look at all the details. All right, it looks like I have everything now taken out of the box. We are going to skip this section here to start because those are the D23 exclusive accessories. Let's start in the easiest spot, which is the eyes that come with the figure. Of course, these are magnetic, just like all of the other Spider-Man figures. You can see here, these are the closed eyes. I don't know how often I would use these. I feel like if you wanted to have like a Peter Tingle pose where he's kind of thinking and, and sensing what's going on, you might throw these in. But me personally, I may never use these, but they are really cool nonetheless. Next, these are kind of a squinted eye. Now what I like to do with these sometimes is kind of mix and match with these eyes. and You can kind of make it more unique as opposed to the four options you have available apart from the ones that are pre-installed. Um, you do get five total, but these are the extra four options that come in the packaging. These are definitely really cool. I definitely see myself using these. Next, we kind of have a full eye open. Definitely really cool. Again, these are magnetic. They are very easy to put on. And finally, these are kind of half closed here. Probably my favorite set, to be honest with you, apart from what's pre-installed on the figure, and you'll see that in the figure portion of the video. But definitely really, really dig these. And if you look close enough, you can kind of see there's detail and that lens where his eye is open. Really, really nice. Next, we'll move on to the backpack. So I noticed as I was taking this out of the box, I do have a bit of a defect here. You can see the logo is kind of peeling off a little bit. Very upset about that because there's really no way to get a replacement for this because it was purchased for me at the D23 Expo. But, you know, I'm happy that I got the figure, so I'm not going to complain. It does say Web Worldwide Engineering Brigade on the bag. It does have a nice substantial zipper that does unzip. And you can see, you can actually put things in there. Hey, if you have an extra uh, bodega cat, maybe you could throw it in here or even have that spider drone crawling out. That would be really cool. Um, but I really dig this. It's a nice, it literally feels like a backpack material. It's a really nice material. You do have straps on the back and they are adjustable. Uh, this is truly a 1-6 scale backpack in every sense of the word. I'm a huge fan of this. Next, we have our spider drone here. Now, I know a lot of you are curious about the uh, articulation on this guy. You can see some of the limbs are posed in a certain position, but they do move up and down. Um, most of them do move, albeit there isn't a ton of range of motion. However, it's nice to see that they are articulated, so you can kind of change up the pose a little bit. Um, this one here is fixed in place. The rest of these are posable, so I feel like it's the only one. Um, you really only have that side-to-side -side motion, though. There is no additional articulation. And also, there is no articulation point here. Um, but really good details on this little guy. I know this is kind of one of the shining accessories. We can kind of take a look around just to see all the details on him. Really, really nice. Sorry, the camera's struggling to focus. There we go. And there is the underside, even detailed on the underside as well. 
And I'm actually a big fan of this paint scheme. It looks really cool, and I like the little metallic eyeballs. I think that looks really, really, really nice. All right. Moving on to the more boring part, guys. We do have the same webs that we get all the time. So you can see there's a set of webs there. There's kind of like a swinging web. Again, we get these all the time with Spider-Man if you've owned a Spider-Man figure. And then this, of course, is kind of the web that shot out. And you can attach this to one of the other web pieces. This is really cool. Um, next, the display base. Now, I will say it looks really, really nice. I kind of like this honeycomb pattern here that we have going on. I will say it's a little strange. There's no name on the front of this base. I don't know if that was intentional or they rushed these out too quickly and they didn't get that done. Not sure. I would have liked if it said like Web Spider-Man on here or Avengers Campus Spider-Man, something cool like that. Not a huge detractor, but definitely takes off some points there because I like having a name uh, to display with the rest of my figures. And of course, also included with that is the standard flight pole. As always, I did install this on the pole prior to this unboxing. So when you actually take it out of the box, these two are separate. There is a screw here if you want to tighten it down so it doesn't shift up and down. Of course, this is your typical waist grabber. Always do be careful with these because if they pinch too hard on certain types of figures, it will damage the suit. We'll see if that's going to happen with this one once we get to the figure portion of the video, but do be very careful with these. In terms of our hands, we have left and right fisted hands. Very, very nice detail on these hands all around. You can kind of see that black portion there that represents part of the web shooter really really cool always got to have fisted hands with spidey because he's always getting into something next these are web holding hands you can see a very tight grip so it's probably going to be hard to get things in there but very cool nonetheless and they have the same great detail that we saw with the previous two hands next we have our uh, i like to call these thwipping hands uh, shout out if you know that meme. Um, let's flip them over so you can get another view of the bottom of the hand with the portion of the web shooter. Really, really nice. Always got to have some thwipping hands with our Spider-Man figures. And finally, these are our climbing hands, or if you have them in a pose where he's kind of in a heroic pose, touching the ground, uh, these are what you would want to use. Again, they do have amazing detail, just like the rest of the hands, and they also have that web shooter portion on the bottom of the hand. Now onto the exciting accessories, the most exciting accessories I should say. Uh, do we want to do the churro now? No, we got to save the churro for last. Let's save that for last. Let's take a look at this little cool hoodie. Of course, being that he is a member of Web, he's got to have the Web Worldwide Engineering Brigade hoodie on. I definitely will be displaying my figure with this moving forward. This is really, really cool. It does have these little adjustable strings, but they don't actually adjust anything. Of course, it's just emulating a real hoodie. Um, flipping it over to the back, nothing on the back, but really, really well done. It is a bit thin material, but it does feel like a real sweatshirt. Is this pocket actually usable? Yes, it is. That's really cool. You can kind of have a churro hanging out of the pocket. Uh, definitely going to throw this on this guy in the posing segment of the video. Don't you worry, but this is really, really cool. Next, if I can grab it. Yep. We have this little WebBot Ultimate poster here. It says battle and it has the web bot on it. Uh, really, really cool. If we flip it around to the back, it is blank. This is kind of like a thin piece of cardstock, so be very careful with this because I can see you damaging it if you aren't careful. Uh, next, guys, this is the, the World Wide Web Brigade book. And this is pretty incredible. I did briefly look through this as I was opening it, but you could see. I mean, there's a bunch of different pictures and schematics and all these different things about the bots. This is really, really incredible, guys. Incredible attention to detail. There's something different on almost every page. I like this a lot. You can see it says Worldwide Engineering Brigade on the front and the same on the back. Mine has a little ding on the corner there, but that's okay. Uh, I definitely want to display him with this in hand because this is super cool. Finally, let's uh, get this out of the way. Of course, you get some extra wrist joints. If you ever break them, it's nice to have some extras, and Hot Toys always throws those in, so that's cool. Moving on. Here is one of the two food-related accessories that he comes with. This is a cool little soda can here. Very, very tiny. I will say it's kind of sloppily put on the sticker. Not a huge fan of that. You can see there's like a bump where something was on the adhesive when they laid it down. 
not the best, but it is still really cool. And there's nice attention to detail here. You can even see there's a visible barcode there. I'm surprised the camera's focusing. And finally, the reason I bought this figure, the churro. Guys, we got the churro. Yes, we got the churro. So this is really, really cool. You can see it almost looks like it has sugar on it. Really, really crazy attention to detail here. You would think this is a super hard plastic, but it's actually flexible plastic here, which is kind of cool, I guess, if you're trying to stick it in one of the hands. Um, but this is awesome, guys. I really wanted this figure already because I like the concept of it, but the fact that it comes with a churro is a huge plus. If you've ever been to the Disney parks, you know that that is a staple at the parks. Of course, this one's a bit short compared to what they sell there, but it definitely is still great to represent that in the parks. This is awesome. I'm a huge fan. But guys, now let's move on to the figure. All right, and here we are with this beautiful Avengers Campus Spider-Man figure. Right off the bat, guys, you could see the texture, the coloring is absolutely incredible. I have to be honest with you, first impressions before I start posing this guy, this is the best looking Spider-Man to date that I have in hand. Of course, this is only my third Spider-Man, so that's not saying much, but I feel like a lot of you hardcore Spider-Man fans will really dig this guy. You could see from head to toe, there's an incredible amount of detail. Um, let's get a close-up of that spider logo on the chest and all of that crazy webbing detail and all that texturing in the chest area and in the rib area. This is just absolutely beautiful, guys. I know this release is getting really hyped right now because it is a D23 exclusive before the regular version gets released on Sideshow. Um, but it looks amazing, guys. I know a lot of people uh, are comparing this to the Zombie Hunter Spider-Man for good reason because it is a very similar suit. However, I hate to say it, but this seems like an overall upgrade of that suit. It does not have that comic proportion to it. It has a more accurate, lifelike proportion to it because it's based on the Spider-Man from the Avengers Campus. But also, of course, this is a comic accurate suit, so this is really, really cool. Uh, I was going to end up getting the classic suit, but after seeing this guy in person, I honestly don't need the classic suit. I really, really love this figure and how he looks. These colors are just absolutely breathtaking in person. I hate to overhype it, but I'm telling you, the colors really, really do pop. The last time I saw a figure that really popped like this in terms of bright colors was the 2012 cap, and this is giving me 2012 cap vibes. Um, but let's get into the articulation. Uh, I'm happy to report this is a cloth suit. This is not your plastic suit with the printed details on it. Um, but let's get into articulation on this figure, guys, starting with the torso and head area. Of course, the head, you have the swivel left and right. Not a terrible amount of range of motion, but still good enough, I feel. You can see he kind of looks all the way down if you want it to. Uh, the neck doesn't really move much, but that's okay. In terms of the shoulder articulation... Oh, we have very, very nice ratchets here, guys. I'm super happy to see that and hear that. You guys know I love the sound of those ratcheted joints. Um, you really can't ask for much more there in terms of articulation. Let's see how it is at the elbow. The elbow joints are not ratcheted, but you can see they do pose very well. And this is a cloth material, so you can see that bunching goes away instantly. And of course, always with joints, you want to kind of push them up as you move them down. Um, I love, love the sound of those ratcheted joints. In terms of ab crunch... I mean, you really can't ask for much more than that. Of course, there is some bunching there, guys, but you got to remember, even in real life, when we're not talking about figures, there's going to be some bunching in the fabric that you're wearing when you bend down like that. So I really can't ask for much more. He bends back nice as well. Um, the articulation is great on this suit. Again, I hate to overhype it, but I am very, very impressed thus far. I don't have the Scarlet Spider, but I could see people comparing it to this figure. Um, I actually do have the homemade suit Spider-Man, and he is very poseable, so this is reminding me of that homemade suit Spider-Man. Uh, let's see if we have ratcheted joints for the legs. Oh, we do, and they are very tight, solid ratcheted joints. You could see, I mean, I could even go further. You can't really ask for much more there, guys. Again, you do get some bunching in the suit, but this is a cloth material, so you can see it kind of goes away quickly. There is a bit of creasing there, but that will go away shortly, I'm sure. In terms of the knees... Not ratcheted, but it is a smooth joint nonetheless. Definitely uh, remember when you're posing these guys, you almost want to kind of like pinch the fabric so it doesn't get pinched in the joint. Um, of course, same for this side as well. Pinch that fabric as you're bending it back. Um, this, this suit material is very, very nice. Moving down to the feet, you could see that same amazing webbing texture detail down here. No creasing around the ankle area, which is really cool. Um, you do have toe articulation. And you do have 
basically full range of motion on this joint. Um, and I like that this suit is moving with it. I'm really, really a big fan of the material on this suit. You could see the tread down here on the bottom. We always like looking at the tread. Some really nice tread you got going on there, Spotty. I'm a huge fan of that. But yeah, guys, the articulation on the feet is basically endless, and this material is really, really nice. I kind of want to take a look more at the back here because I forgot to do that earlier because I'm so excited to get this review out. Um, but really, really cool spider logo on the back. Again, amazing detail on this guy, as you could see. Sorry if I'm bumping the camera. I'm kind of too close to it at the moment. I apologize for that. Um, but amazing detail. And I love this kind of like pattern that runs down throughout the blue area on the suit. It looks really, really good. There's your uh, obligatory cheek shot. If we can get it from the side, there you go. Looks perfectly fine to me. You can see these little faux metal pieces around the front look really nice as well. I do want to highlight these web shooters because I think these look very unique and very cool. Some nice detail. There is a bit of weathering, not much, but definitely really, really nice. Of course, you have the same on the other side. And as you can see, these are the kind of open, relaxed hands that come with the figure. Uh, I think these would be perfect for holding the book and or the churro. Uh, really, really nice. But now, guys, it's time to move on to the posing segment of the video. I'll throw this guy in some poses and we'll see what he can do. Alright guys, let's get into my final thoughts on the Avengers Campus D23 exclusive Spider-Man. Uh, but before we do that, I just want to say a special, special thank you to Wolf Moon in the Discord. And he's also on YouTube, I believe. Thank you so much, Wolf, for picking this up for me at the Expo. If it weren't for you, this review wouldn't be possible, and I wouldn't be a happy collector. Uh, thank you so much, dude. He also ended up getting me another item that I will be doing a separate review on, so keep an eye out for that. But I can't thank you enough, dude. Thank you so much for that. You are a lifesaver. But guys, let's get into my final thoughts on the figure now. Uh, I know this release is very hyped, being that it is a D23 exclusive. Now, I will say uh, there will be a version on Sideshow. It did briefly go up before it was taken down. However, the version on Sideshow will not have the churro, the can of soda, the book, all of those exclusive accessories listed in the original Hot Toys posting. Uh, so don't worry. I know you guys all want those accessories, but even if you can't get that, you will get this figure, and I think that's okay because this figure is incredible on its own. Like I said in the review, the suit is incredible. It's very highly detailed. The cloth material is extremely poseable, and I think it looks really, really nice. Also, if we're talking specifically about this version, the exclusive accessories are really, really cool. That churro, man, I can't get over it. I love that churro. It's a six-scale churro. What more can you want? Especially if you're a Disney Parks fan, this is a really special release, and it's definitely a big nod to that. So, really, really appreciate this release from Hot Toys. I think they're kind of thinking outside the box on this one. Again, I know a lot of people are going to be comparing this to the Zombie Hunter Spider-Man. Me, personally, I would put this over the Zombie Hunter Spider-Man because it has more sentimental value to me. And I also, I prefer the suit material on this one versus what comes with that Zombie Hunter Spider-Man. Um, the price on this one retail was $300 at the Expo. Online, I don't even want to get into it because it's super expensive. People are paying upwards of $1,000, $1,200 when this first dropped on the first day. It has come down a little bit to the six, seven, eight hundred dollars range. But still, guys, if you don't care about those exclusive accessories, don't spend all that extra money. This will be going on Sideshow again. It did pop up on there, and then it was taken down shortly after. So I think they just weren't ready to put the listing up yet, and someone made a little goof here or there. Uh, but that's okay. Um, but I had a really fun time recording this review. Sorry if it seems kind of rushed. Let me know what you guys think about this figure in the comments below. Also, I'm sure you noticed I swapped out my backdrop for this video. And I do think after watching some of the footage, it made a huge, huge difference. So let me know what you think of that in the comments below. I appreciate those who kind of gave me that pointer and said, hey, the white might be a little too much. I think you guys were right. Uh, but that's all I got for you. Again, keep an eye out on the channel. We will have the giveaway video being filmed soon by Lane and I. And also, I have another special review probably going up this week. Of course, as always, on Thursdays, we will be live at 7, 7.30 p.m. EST. So come join us on our lives. You guys have been incredible over there. And once again, subscribe if you haven't already. 
Give yourself a chance to win that Arkham Series Harley Quinn hot toy and stay up to date with all of our content moving forward. Have a great night, everybody.